Welcome back, everybody. We're in the draft of game one. You can see Ontario Tech purple on the left, Sinclair College on the right, and let's talk about the draft. Well, looking at these agent selects so far, pretty standard stuff on the side of St. Clair College, though I will say the Reina pick is kind of interesting, something you don't see too often. Yeah, and you also see the Phoenix there. So going for three mm -hmm. duelists, uh, St. Clair College are attacking on every single map. So they're going to look to play aggressive early, try and get a big lead mm -hmm. in the first half. But you can see Ontario Tech Purple going for a bit more of a balanced team comp. They have the Viper, Sky, Raze, Sage, and Cypher. So defensively going to be really, really solid. Uh, might be a bit hard to attack, but they do have those flashes when needed. So should be exciting. Expecting St. Clair to come out blow hungry really, really early. Absolutely, and looking at the lineups too, on side of St. Clair College, we have pretty standard stuff. Instinct, Smiley, Giza, Seth, and Caillou, some of our best players here at the college. And then on the other side, we do have Crimson, your mom, Giuseppe, uh, and Kate, Caitlin, and Sriracha Beans leading off for Ontario Tech Purple. And let's see where we are going to get started in round one. It's going to be Saints on the attack, as previously stated. And uh, I think they're going to look to just full-on attack a site with all the utility they have from all their duelists. You know, they need to go fast. They can't really afford to take their time. So it looks like they're going to be going for a, B, a, mish, a middle to B split. Absolutely. Making sure you have that mid control on split is always super important. And I think it's good to point out, too, that St. Clair College has also so much blinds as well to accompany their utility here but here we go underway in the first round pistol round a notorious round that you need to get going and Caillou just walking straight in he's gonna find one before being traded out by Sriracha Beans. He gets straight out there Sriracha Beans living on 14 HP will make it out alive if the sky can get anywhere near him could be able to maybe heal him up but Smiley here on the point is gonna be able to take it your mom does take out Instinct in mid but Giza is able to find the kill onto the Viper their Saints might have to look to plant this down early they don't know that nobody's on this site you can see Ontario Tech starting, trying to retake the site Caitlyn's gonna take a little bit of damage but the spike has not been planted yet it's gonna be on Smiley here on the way he's gonna look for something Giza's gonna find one with a huge flank he's gonna find the second Seb's gonna take that one Crimson's gonna take out Giza now two for one for a of St. Clair College. It's all up to Crimson here. He's going to look for the peak down to 20 HP. One more bullet should do it. Smiley finds him. We'll get the plan down for the extra cash and a very nice round from St. Clair to take the early lead. Absolutely. Doing a great job there. And these pistol rounds, super, super important. You want to make sure you are picking up the first two easy ones because now with that extra bonus from planting the spike and we can see it here, they are going to force buying some vandals, getting a specter with full shield, changing up to a bulldog. They have everything they need to take the second round easily. Saints playing with a lot of confidence. You can see that there, especially picking the three duelist yeah. uh, setup. You know, they're definitely feeling good in themselves as Giza. They didn't get a buy off still in that spawn. Wonder what happened to him there, but it's going to be St. Clair just going very, very fast here on the attack. They're going to be able to take A site basically for free. The plant should go down any second one now, and there it is. Uh, the spikes going down in St. Clair just for free, kind of get control of the whole site. It's going to be all up to Ontario Tech Purple to try and retake this one. Caitlyn with a po couple of teammates looking to come back here, but Seth's going to find one. Your mom's going to find two with the pistol there. And now oh, it's going to be a nice heal here coming out from Caitlyn, but Caillou is going to find the pick onto the raise there. It's going to be a 3v3 situation here. Instinct sitting behind this Viper wall alongside the Phoenix. Are able to lock this one down? There's going to be a flash coming out. No one can walk across. Caillou and Instinct just finding the shots there. They still have to defuse this spike. Not much time left as Viper sitting on the corner. Sky's going to be able to make her way onto the site, but that is going to be on the site. The Molly's going to find him, and that's going to be a 4K for Caillou. A great rounder for St. Clair College, taking advantage of their opportunity. Absolutely, and Giza spending that whole time AFK and spawn. <laughs> Hopefully he's okay, and it's not just a computer issue. Um, but just kind of looking at this lineup here, a big thing to point out, Caillou, who's been popping off at Fe as Phoenix in that last round with a 4K, oh, usually nice. the Sky player of the team. He's the captain, the IGL, he does a lot. So for him to switch up to this duelist definitely means that they are confident they've got what it takes to beat this team easily. Yeah, you can see the pure mechanics there, just knowing where to throw the He's molly, finding the nice shot on the last player there. It's going to be... Uh, 
push though. Coming out from St. Clair. B mid push. Two and two. Gizu, as you said, still in that spawn on yep. that cypher. Not too sure what's going on there, but we haven't had a pause or anything, so pretty interesting there. Let's see if the Saints can get anything going on the attack. That sky flank up Jump mid should over. be huge. Kaylin, if just can turn around this corner, knows exactly where the Phoenix ult is going to come back to, so that should be a free kill for them. Caillou does find the Sage around the corner. We'll find the kill. We'll get taken down soon uh -huh. as the ultimate and Kaylin's going to find an easy kill there. The spike, spike is down. down Giza mid. is back. He's walking up mid. Seth's going to find a kill on Crimson here. Smiley is up here with the Judge, but there's going to be a Viper right behind him. He's not going to hear him. Giza also goes down 2v3 now. It's just up to the Reyna and Omen. The Sky still has a good flank and the spike is down. And all three members from Ontario Tech Purple are able to make their way up towards this middle. It's going to be all up to Instinct and Seth to pull this clutch out. They have no flashes here. Is Instinct going to peek the corner to his left? That's a great spot from that race. Do any idea she's there? Yes, they do. Find a kill and move out. Sriracha so Fiends doesn't able to find one. That's a 1v1 situation. Instinct Ooh. will find the headshot onto Kalen there in the clutch. Is able to get it and give St. Clair College a 3 0 lead. Well, absolutely incredible playing there by Instinct, doing a great job on that Reyna, being able to uh, use that Q and E effectively, getting out of the danger quickly before finishing off the other two. But great playing as well by Ontario Tech there. Caitlin with that patience, waiting for the Phoenix ult to end to be able to take out Caillou and doing a great job of locking down that spike, but Instinct just had the headshots there. And unfortunately for Ontario Tech Purple, that was their round where they could have maybe did something. Now they won't have the gun's advantage or equal grounds. That was a great flash coming out there from Phoenix, getting five members all on their own team. Unfortunately, it's going to be a quick rush on to A. The Raze is not able to spot out the sky, but Kayo is able to find one. Kaylin does find Smiley, but does get taken down. They know the stage is up here. But they know she's on top of the wall. Oh, what a shot from Giuseppe. But Giza is able to find the trade. Now it's a 2v3 for Ontario Tech Purple, and Giza is just going to walk them down in the spawn. Nice two headshots to end up the round and give St. Clair a very good start to this map. Absolutely. He may have taken a round and a half off there, but just gets right back into it, finding that nice little two-piece at the end there. And as we take a look at the economy here, both teams able to buy up all the way, but Ontario Tech using the last of what they got for this round. It looks like if they lose this one, they are going to have to save next round. So... A lot of things to consider here going into this, but St. Clair College, two alts on the board. You got that Omen alt and the Cypher alt, which will be absolutely huge for playing both sides of this map. And they're going to be going for an A push again. They're going to look to rush in like they did last time. They know that they just have men advantage here. It's going to be just a Cypher on the site here. He's going to try and do as much as he can. Crimson is maybe going to look to find a shot. Instinct doesn't spot him, but Instinct's able to find the shot as Crimson whips a couple there. Giza's able to find a kill. There's a Cypher ult coming out. Caillou with a great one tap there onto it. Chef Giuseppe gets Giza gets one and gets another 3k for on the Cypher. That's five rounds in a row for St. Clair College. And they're looking so, so strong even when the guns are even. They're just looking so so good absolutely they know what they're doing they came to play today and Giza and Caillou leading the way right now with eight kills a piece doing a great job this is the team that we know and love to see and it looks like they're gonna take this one with ease today yeah they're gonna they're just full-on rushing sites they're not even hesitating no split pushing but right as I say that <laughs> it's looking like they're going for a bit of a mid push and maybe go b into B or A. That's a very, very popular strategy on this map. Omen has the spike all the way in spawn, though. He's going to probably look to ultimate somewhere. They're going to look for the Sage or Instinct. Looking to go to a quickly. Chef Gisepe, great shots there through the smoke. Is able to take out Instinct very, very early. Kai is looking to make some space. Giza as well is going to get taken down by Kaylin. That's a great shot there. Now it's a 3 5 for the side of St. Clair College. Caitlyn on this side, getting in danger. Caillou's able to find one. We're going to see the Omen go all the way to A, I believe. The plan should go down immediately as Smiley is doing God's work all on his lonesome here, but does get taken down by Caitlyn. That's another kill on that sky. Let's see what this Phoenix can get done in the oh. ultimate. Caillou finds one, maybe looking for the fourth here. It's just Caitlyn sitting in spawn, but it's a dangerous position for the sky. Has to get all the way across the map. Caillou is just holding this one down, I think. Uh, they don't have any idea though where the sky is. You could see that Kai rotated all the way out, but he's going to be looking through at that crossfire. Kalen decides to go to 
this heaven. She will get taken down, and that's a great oh, shot from Caillou. Back. Four kills on the round. It seems like every single round on St. Clair, at least one member is getting three kills and making this game very, very easy for themselves. Absolutely. They are just flying through these rounds, and like you said, they are just pushing onto site with no hesitation, no setup. That three duelists, they should be entering as fast as possibly can, and they're doing just that. And now they've got the Reina and Ray's ult on the board, and for the side of Ontario Tech, they do have four of their ults on, so this could be a good opportunity them for, for them to take, but seeing as they're going to save, it looks like it might be an opportunity for them to save the ults as well for a better needed time. I mean, we could see the Ray's ultimate here come out, but there's going to be a great uh, flash coming out. Smiley's going to choose to pop his Ray's ultimate. Look how much space he creates with that. He might even go up here, look for a shot around the corner, not there, but around the other corner, he does find a lot of damage there, but not finding the kill as the enemy raise is able to find a kill. But look at that flash, but Chef Gesepe fully blinded, is able to pick up that kill. Instance is able to trade that one out. Now it's a 3 for 2 for the side of St. Clair, and it's a free B site for them. But the Omen is going to choose to make his way back over to A site. He doesn't want to plant that one down there. He knows Giza's made a lot of space here. There's going to be the fake. TP coming up from them as Giza does get taken down now. I think they realize they have to rotate over a little bit and get the plan down on B. Absolutely. Sriracha and the other Cypher just sitting on A. They think the push is coming probably after they heard that Omen all, but now Seth able to plant cleanly on to B and Saints will have full control of that site for retake, but we'll see what Viper and Cypher choose to do here. It could be a chance for them to save, but Saving what, really? Yeah, there's not much to save. They have the two ghosts. They need to go together, but Inkstein's going to be able to find one here. Is he able to get that heal? I don't know if he spotted out the second. I think he must have. As uh, No, maybe he didn't. He's going to look for that peek and does find a headshot. Another, at least 3k from another mm -hmm. member from St. Clair, giving them a 7-0 lead. And they're an absolutely running through Ontario Tech right now with these three duelists set up. Absolutely, and I think a big part of this playing all together definitely is Seth here on the Omen. Doing a great job taking the spike and doing God's work with it. Like you said, using the ult to get from one side to the other, the fake TPs. It's just been absolutely crazy and all-around perfection from him too. And this whole team just working together, firing on all cylinders. Caillou and Giza still leading the way there. And Instinct also coming up with that 3k in the last round. It's just nothing but good for St. Clair College right now. Without a doubt. And now they're going to look to maybe pull Rush in onto A again. Smiley's going to use those satchels. He's going to find the entry pick for them. And that should be the plant going down immediately. It doesn't look like Ontario Tech Purple is really ready for this setup. Caitlyn is going to get taken down by Smiley there. And there's going to be a challenge up top. There's going to be a trade coming out there. Smiley getting his third kill of the round. It's going to going to be just up to the Cypher on this back side. They're going to look to peek him. I think they have an idea. He might be here, but the plant will go down onto A. Uh, I think the Cypher is going to plant that one down. No, the Rage is going to plant that one down for that ult charge. Smiley I the is going to give it over <laughs> to his fellow teammate Crimson. We'll find Instinct in the meantime while there's a bit of banter going on. One side, there's going to be a Cypher coming out of the smoke with his knife out in Crimson. Maybe looking for a miracle here. Able to find two. Smiley's going to be pushing him right here, but that's going to be a fourth kill for him. And it's an 8-0 round lead for St. Clair College. Ontario Tech Purple just, I don't, I don't know what they can, what do you think they can do to maybe get at least get, start, get around? Well, you know, they kind of were close last round. They had the Sage Wall blocking those quick uh uh, pack jumps by Smiley there, but it didn't help for long as he was able to break down the wall and just push right through. It might just be a matter of five stacking together as a team and hoping you can just charge them like they've been charging you. I agree. If they could just get a couple maybe shotguns, camp around a couple corners, mm -hmm. maybe, just maybe, they can get a couple entry picks that would be huge for them. But let's see what St. Clair decides to do. This is the first time they've really kind of ran a default. Kind of surprised. You're going to see Inkston go up mid there. The Sage is right to his left. They're not going to be able to spot each other just there. But Kaelin on the skies, I able to take him down. Very, very nice pick from them there. There's going to be a couple of Odins coming up here into heaven. This is a very, very interesting strategy here coming up from the Saints Crimson, though, in a very, very good position. Will take a bit of damage oh. from those bullets. Oh, Chikiza doesn't check it. Smiley doesn't check it either. And it's going to be a pick coming in from Crimson. Kai is able to take him down. He's going to look straight at him and will go down. Giza with the Odin is just spraying up their complete chaos in this game. Seth able to find some shots there. Giza still going to look for some picks here. All members from Ontario Tech still pretty, pretty healthy. Considering they have just these Odins, he's going to get the bot to explode and do a lot of damage to Giza as he was stunned by the dog. I think this might be the round that Ontario Tech could take down. The Viper is 
gonna look for that. There's gonna be a pick coming up from Seth. 3 HP here on Giza. He will go down. Seth TPing in the open and Ontario Tech Purple after a bit of an interesting round from St. Clair College are able to put one up on the board. Absolutely. The couple of Odin picks there definitely a bit of a joking pick from St. Clair College and they kind of went in that haphazardly not checking those common corners especially behind that box on B Heaven. You know, there's always somebody sitting behind there and sure enough Crimson was able to get a couple or a couple picks in the process by playing patiently but St. Clair College Got pretty good eco. Some of them having to spend their last few cents on a gun here, but it is a five stack phantom push, which is very interesting. So we'll see how they go about it here, not being able to really take on too much of a long range battle. Yeah, and Phoenix is going to have his ultimate. It's going to create so much space for the Saints here. Kalen will take down Kyu there, but Seth will find the trade. And now Seth in such a premium position up here. Smiley able to make his way all the way into the enemy spawn. Will find one. Sriracha Beans is sitting here with the Odin, but nobody's pushing him there. Just kidding. There's going to be a rocket coming to your face. And Smiley behind you was Crimson, but Seth got your back. And just like that, in a matter of seconds, Sinclair are able to take the 10th round and give themselves a 9-1 advantage. Just absolutely incredible. Two rounds left here in the half, and the Saints look to take this. They only need four more rounds to win, so I think we're going to easily be looking at an 11-1 half and two more rounds into the into the defensive side, and that'll be it. Yeah, I mean, that's what the Saints hope for, but Ontario Tech were able to get one. It might have been a bit of a miracle, but hey. As long as it's up there, that's all that really matters. It's going to be a mid push coming from the Saints. You can see Ontario, they just had to stack B there, but now they're going to be making their way all the way to A, St. Clair College, and it's going to be a free plan. Seth does get taken down in mid. There's going to be a Cypher ult coming out as well, but now they will know that the whole enemy team is on A side. The plant will get down for St. Clair. This should be a pretty, pretty interesting hold. There's going to be the Rays challenging. It's Smiley. Such a huge nade. Is able to find a couple. Giza finding two. And it's just going to be one more Sriracha Beans up lane. Giza whiffing a couple shots there. 12 HP though. And Inkstein will be able to trade it out. 10-1 for St. Clair. As they're going to lose to finish out the half in a strong fashion. Absolutely. One round left in the half. St. Clair called to not having to worry whatsoever about their economy. Ontario Tech did a good job of saving last round, so they can buy Vandals this round. But when we look at the alts on the board, we're pretty kind of evened up here. We got the Reina, Cypher, and Omen alts on the side of St. Clair College, and the Viper, Sky, and Sage alt on the side of Ontario Tech. So pretty good alts to have all around. Um, and if Ontario Tech plays this right, that Viper pick could be deadly for defense. And it's going to be the operator coming out from Smiley on the rain on the raise is not something you see too often now. Ontario Tech will know that that's the case, and Smiley is solo just pushing this all by his lonesome with the operator. This is going to look to jump oh. through and. Uh, Bit of an interesting play, does get taken down, but now St. Clair College have full control of the side. Inkstein is going to find that pick. Giza will get his ultimate down. Now they know that the Viper ult was wasted by Ontario Tech. Purple as well on a site. They see everybody. The Omen ult is in the spawn right behind you, Sage. Does not turn around. Giza is able to find one. Does get killed by the Sage. Kayu is able to find the trade as well. There seems to be the fire going down. Inkstein is going to find Kayla. It's going to be all up to Sriracha Beans with the Vandal, will find a pick onto Inkstain. They're looking for the knife here. Caillou will get taken down as well as the time is ticking, but Seth is right behind him. There's going to be the pistol. One more shot, won't find it. Do they have time for the defuse? I'm not too sure. Uh, the Viper is running as fast as she can. Nope, they and are I out don't of time. think there's enough time. St. Clair getting, trying to go for that knife, but stalling off enough, enough time to the point of them winning the round. They're able to take the half 11-1 and they're going to look to start the second half, half off as strong as they started off the first one. Absolutely. Only two more rounds for St. Clair College to take this game one and push it to the second map here. And just looking at the buys we can see now we got Caillou with the shorty so we can just expect. Oh, looks like he's going to change it up here. But we do yeah. Or he's going to go for a full util instead of buying a different kind of gun here. Whereas OTSU now on the attack, going to pick up a couple more ghosts, try to do some damage as they run in here. And they too kind of switching it up. Not quite sure exactly what they want to pull off here. Yeah, looks like Ontario Tech wants to go up mid, but look where St. Clair are. They have all five oh. members just stacked. 
up there. It's gonna be an absolute war in the middle here. Let's see how we get started. Let's see where the raise. Nades are gonna come out. Smiley's just gonna double satchel into the whole team. We'll go down. Caitlyn and Sriracha Beans finding one of their own. And now it's a 2v5 for the side of St. Clair. Instinct is gonna have to do absolutely everything to win this round on this rain. Uh, that's basically their last hope here as the rest of the team has gone down. But Ontario Tech playing him very, very safe. Let's see if he can find it. Picks here. No, he does go down. It's all up to Caillou with the shorty. It's gonna be very hard. Does find a couple there, but good start in the second half for Ontario Tech Purple after a bit of an interesting play call they're coming out from St. Clair College. Absolutely, and you know, this might be a time where St. Clair College wants to take a timeout, possibly uh, think about what they're gonna be doing to try and find these next couple of rounds here. Um, but it looks like now we see the reverse is Ontario Tech is gonna fully buy up here. Spectre's full shields and then a Bulldog, whereas St. Clair College gonna go with mostly yeah. Sheriff, Smiley with that shorty, so I'm assuming we're gonna see a double jetpack here to push right into them and take out too quickly. Yeah, but it's gonna be a full on A push coming up from Ontario Tech, so nobody here from St. Clair really to defend it, and they're gonna hear that Sky Bird come out. Let's see if Giza can find, no, it's gonna be all five members going up to heaven here. Very, very interesting push. Okay, one raise nade could kind of slow this one down. Smiley can go absolutely massive here. There's gonna be a, some shots coming out here from Giza. Does miss a couple, but does find the trade. And Smiley with that short, he's just not able to find anything. Seth and Caillou, last two members alive. Caillou's able to find one, should be able to heal up a little bit as well Spike with planted. his flame. And it's all three members from Ontario Tech just sitting on A side. I don't know if that's the best play. Seth also does have that uh, specter. Yep. Yeah, so a good, good gun oh in the second God. round, could find some picks there. Saints need to go a little bit quickly now. Not too much time left. The TP here from Seth is absolutely crazy. He's gonna be up here. The whole new team heard it. There's gonna be the flash coming out. I don't think he caught anyone with that one. He's not gonna be able to find any. He's gonna be all up to Caillou here with the Sheriff and the 1v3. It's gonna be very, very rough. And it's gonna be another round going to Ontario Tech Purple. Could definitely be a little bit tougher in this half for St. Clair College having picked three duelists on for the defense side, you know, unless they're fully pushing out and getting a couple picks within those first couple seconds. It's hard for them to sit really still and be effective on any site here whatsoever, but now we get to see some full buys coming out from St. Clair College. A lot of them opting for a Vandal with no shield, which is kind of interesting, but as long as you get those headshots before you get shot first, then I guess they have an easy round ahead of them. I mean, I could understand the rain. You know, you get one early yeah. pick, you can overheal, but it's a bit of a risky play here from St. Clair, and they're deciding to pull, pull, and push A. Giza's gonna take a couple shots, but now they have a 2v1 against this Viper. Seth is able to find a pick onto the raise very, very early, but that's get taken down. That gives B side over to Ontario Tech Purple. They decide to go very, very quickly, and they are choosing to do so, but Giza finding a great shot onto Sriracha B. He's gonna be on the flank in their spawn. Smiley gets one, but let's get taken down. It's gonna be all up to Easton here. He's not able to find either, so it's gonna be a 2v2 here. Kalen on one HP, but the Sage doesn't have a heal to get Healed up there, Giza is gonna look to push through. Uh, their spawn here, three peaks without the gun. Giuseppe did and does go down. It's gonna be all up to Kalen on 20 HP here on the sky. We'll be able to find Caillou, and all sitting on that Ooh. ace is almost able to pick it up. But Giza able to get his third kill of the round and give St. Clair College match map points. Absolutely, as now they got the Vandals too. They are nice and stacked up. Some of the Saints members might have to opt to save here as they did spend most of their credits to get those Vandals last round. Um, but we will see Giza gonna be able to kind of lead the charge here, um, having the only full shield and Vandal on the team. But like you said, Reyna just needs that early pick and can get the overheal. And as we take a look at alts, we see that St. Clair College has the Phoenix and the Cypher alt, so Caillou could be very, very deadly here and get some especially good early intel for defensive side with that Phoenix ult. And it looks like Ontario Tech is not gonna go too, too quickly. The stage had to go back to spawn to pick up that spike, but it's gonna be a middle to B push. It looks like Smiley's trying to slow this one down. And he's gonna go decide to knife the Cucumber, which does put him out of out of or order for a little bit, but he's back. And it's gonna be a full uh, mid push and an A push, it looks like, from T Ontario Tech Purple. Smiley's sitting here with a judge, very, very deadly. And Instinct now set up in that middle, but he's gonna opt to go through Vent here. And Crimson gonna be able to find Giza. Sriracha Bean's able to take down the first Caillou Alt, and Caillou able to trade it right back on the raise up. there. Seth also with a pick on to Caitlyn. They 
are using the outlaw in this game, so I guess it was added to the rule set for C Val here, as it was banned a couple weeks ago from use. So must have uh, switched over the rules One and kept with remains. the new update as Seth Spike finds down, two, mid. and now it is a 1v3 on match point for Sirachi Beans here, walled off from no the spike. spike. And now Seth gonna ult try and find something. He's gonna go up on that box. Caillou gets around. It's gonna take a lot of good damage off of Sirachi Beans there. 35 30 HP and a dream, left. but St. Clair College knows they've got this game locked down. They are not gonna push. They're just gonna sit on the wall and hold the spike, and that is a first map for St. Clair College. Yeah, Sriracha Bean's kind of just giving up, it looks like. Just gonna Toxins shift their way over to A. I don't know, if the, do they know they don't have the spike? I think they Ten must. Seconds left. And it's gonna be the first map, as you said, going over to St. Clair College. Just mm -hmm. Ontario Tuck Purple able to start off the defense pretty strong, but Toxins just overpowered by St. Clair College's raw mechanics in that first half Defenders as the three duel is set up does give them the map and it's a 13-3 victory for St. Clair College. Absolutely, and with that being said too, like 2-0 victory is very, very in sight for St. Clair College. If they bring that same dominating force to the second game, they can absolutely sweep this one up easily. As we take a look at the leaderboard, Caillou leading it off 19-11-2. Giza right behind him, 16-11-2. Great playing from those two, absolutely all around, and Giza Probably would be up there if he didn't have to take a round and a half off for uh, some personal reasons. But Instinct, the lowest member on that team with 11 kills, st still hitting that double digits. Absolutely incredible from St. Clair College today. Yeah, you love to see the whole team dropping at least 10 kills and a very, very strong performance from them. They just basically early into the game found every single round. Yeah. What was it, like 7-0, 6-0 mm -hmm. until they lost that one. But that first half was just so, so good for them. And... In this map, too, I'm not too sure what it is, but they will be starting on attack again, so I'm mm -hmm. wondering if they're going to go for that sort of 2-3 uh, duelist setup yet again. It seemed to work the first time. I have seen no reason why they wouldn't bring it the sec second time, but I'm sure that OTSU, in anticipation, might even cook up something a little bit different to try and slow them down. Those Cypher tripfires can be great, especially defending that raise from jumping through, as we did see a couple times, but... It'll be interesting to see what both schools bring into the next map. Absolutely. And with all that being said, we're going to throw it to a very, very quick break. But don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with map two right after this.
Welcome back, everybody, to Map 2 between St. Clair College and Ontario Tech Purple. A little bit of an update. Ontario Tech Purple actually taking the first map because St. Clair College decided to buy the new weapon in the 12th round there. So it's actually 1-0 to Ontario Tech Purple. And, you know, it's going to be a three-game series. Not what we expected, but it's what we're going to get. Absolutely. Unfortunately, Caillou buying that and using the Outlaw to get a kill in the last map does equal them having the automatic forfeit. But now we move on to Ascent. We'll get to see a nice uh, three to four map game today for the Varsity squad, and they will get a lot of game time to play today. And as we take a look at the lineups here on the side of St. Clair College, we're going to see Instinct pick up that Reina again. Giza going to move over to Chamber. Seth on the raise now. Caillou on Sage and Smiley taking that Omen. And on the side of Ontario Tech, Sriracha Beans on Omen. Caitlin on Sky, your mom on Raze again, Giuseppe on that Sage once more, and Crimson now picking up the Killjoy. Very good picks all around for Ascent. Yeah, I mean, Ontario Tech has a bit of more of a balanced team comp. They are playing that Sage, which isn't, I don't think, you know, like the best pick here mm. on Ascent, but, you know, let's see where we are going to be headed to. It's going to be St. Clair on the attack. Uh, yet again, as we said, for all three maps, mm -hmm. they're going to be on attack, so... Uh, they're going to look to go very, very quickly like they did last game. But on this map, that Killjoy can really stop all of your progress. Fortunately for St. Clair, there's going to be two members on the A side from Ontario Tech Purple, it looks like. So if the Saints can get in here very, very quickly, it should be a very nice take for them in this first round. Absolutely. And as we get underway, we're going to see the first couple of round. Ontario Tech going to pick up a bunch of ghosts here and... Frenzy in a classic to try and start this off. And here we go. First round straight into B as we can see that turret going to be stopped up there by the Reina Blind. Paint Shell going into market there. And now St. Clair College going to take over this site. Crimson finds one before being traded out by Giza there. And the plant is going to go down onto B site. And now it is going to be Ontario Tech's time to retake. Yeah, it's going to be a really hard one to retake as well. It's all four members of St. Clair very, very easily just get onto the site there. Giza's going to look for a shot there with the Sheriff throughout the middle. is not able to find it, but Kaelin's going to maybe peek that one again as the Raze is going to take down Instinct, and that's a big pick. Maybe they can get healed up here. Now it's Giza and Kaya, though, finding a couple of huge shots there. As Giza couldn't find Sriracha Beans there. Kaya's going to look for the shot there, but it's a 2v2 now. Spike is still taking. They need to get onto this one quickly. Now it's a 1v2 for... The omen here for St. Clair, but Smiley is behind them. He's snuck up. He's going to be able to turn this corner and kill the bomb diffuser surely. And there's the 1v1. Sriracha Beans will find the kill, but will not be able to find the diffuse. And the first round will be going over to St. Clair College. Well played by Smiley there to get up and around and have that flank onto them there. They were not expecting it whatsoever. But now going into the second round, we can see St. Clair College going to force a little bit here, buying some Vandals and Bulldogs. Seth going to take a classic raise pick here, Judge Full Shield. So I think we can expect nothing less of him flying straight into sight and going for the first head he can find there. St. Clair College looking to take the sec second round with ease. Yeah, they're going to be going all in on this A push, and Ontario Tech haven't even bought a light armor on their team, so this should be a very easy push for the side of St. Clair. Seth is able to go around the corner there. They do get slowed down by the stage and the wall there as well, but is it going to be enough to slow them down? Seth's going to double Satchel in there. Does not even check behind him. There's two members there. Halen does get taken down. There's a person in the top right corner. Can they kill the Sage here in this position? Nobody wants to shoot the Sage. Seth finally takes him out the pistol and it's going to be a great position with the judge here 4v2 situation plant, plant is going down smiley is able to get that down Seth Five takes half his hp is going to be able to find raise around the corners giza is able to find the headshot on crimson and yet again st clair college getting off to a very very hot start on the attack absolutely a near flawless round and now eco's just booming as they are able to save most of their vandals there and buy up into this round and now ontario tech also being able to buy up here It'll be interesting to see how these two compete, kind of even weapons on Ascent here. As we can see, St. Clair College going to set up for a B. Very, very quick push again, as per usual. Placing Instinct probably going to play that middle, maybe not. But we know how these five-man pushes go for St. Clair College, so we'll see if they can repeat the effort. Yeah, it's going to be the Sky peaking that very, very early, but Seth takes down Kaelin instantly. That's going to be a gun. Seth flying in, and Gila's going to be able to take out that raise. That boom bot also doing a little bit of damage, and it's going to be the plan going after Caillou. Giza's able to find yet another pick there 
onto that Killjoy 5v2 situation. And St. Clair are hungry for blood. The Siraj is going to be able to find one, but will find a second as well. It's all up to Siraj Beans here in this clutch situation. Did see the gun there, but is getting pushed from all sides. And Kyle's going to be able to find that headshot. Give St. Clair a 3 0 lead and a very, very strong start to the second game. Absolutely. After forfeiting that first it's map, right. unfortunately, it looks like St. Clair College is going to want to quickly take this map and push it into the game three for a nice 2-1 victory. But as we look at Ontario Tech, now is the time to save once again. Stingers, Spectres, some Ghosts even going into this round here. It's gonna be an interesting matchup and a tough one at that to go up against all these Vandals and Seth with that deadly judge, of course. And Ontario Tech Purple guessing wrong again with that Killjoy. Gonna be on B side, but it's gonna be a full on A push from St. Clair. And not even a stage here this time to slow them down. Seth is gonna make his way on with that judge. Does not shoot Caitlyn there. And the trades will come out from Smiley and Caillou. That's gonna be two picks for them. The plant should be going down very, very soon as Smiley's able to get it down. Giza's able to find a pick onto Sriracha being 4v2 situation for the St. Giza. Running around with this knife, but Inkton's got his back. It's up to Crimson here on this Killjoy. Will get peaked by Giza, and that's another very, very quick round for St. Clair College. 4-0 lead in a span of no time, it feels like. Absolutely, and now look, it, an incredible thing to have Caillou on that Sage, having that ult already. That is a eight point ult to have, and especially playing a Sage, not too easy to climb those ranks very quickly, but here we are, he has a free resurrection ready within four rounds, and Giza as well has got that tour de force ready for whenever he needs it next, and Ontario Tech with just the Omen ult, gonna be a little bit tricky to time its use on Ascent here, but it's like quite all stacked up on B here. We're gonna see how the 5v5 goes on this site. Yeah, it's all 10 members here, and there's gonna be a huge pick coming up from the raise onto Caillou, can resurrect himself, but Seth is just gonna fly in there on the raise, is able to find one, Inkstein finds one as well. So many trades going down, but in the end, it's a 1v1 situation, Smiley able to get the third. Just complete chaos going on on the site, but in the end, the trades go the way of St. Clair College. The fact that Seth was able to get that pick was also crucial. Mm -hmm. And Smiley just on the cleanup, finding the kills when it matters most, gives St. Clair a very, very strong 5-0 lead to start off the second map. Absolutely, and not using a single ult there. They almost have all ults on board here. Seth one point away from that showstopper. And we can see now Instinct gonna be the final here to buy up. Seth still opting for that judge, just Absolutely incredible use with it. And as we look at Ontario Tech, they have a couple more ults on board, but here we go. And again. 5v5 once once more as they try to push this B site. Paint shells and all the utility coming out live. Seth bouncing in as he normally does. Caillou gonna actually pick up Giza there for a second time before quickly going down. A little bit of a bait there is instinct and Caillou goes find a pick each. Giuseppe in the back here gonna put an interesting wall down to stop the push around, but it's not going to stop them from being able to play here on B site. Great spy from Sriracha Beans, and now he is trapped. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see how this goes. Chef Giuseppe does find Caillou. That's a nice kill there. The raid ult will come out. Trying to snipe the Sage from across the map, living on like one HP. I think she does herself feel there. Uh oh, uh -oh. Sriracha Beans able to find one. Oh. oh my goodness, that's actually not the worst angle for him. Does find a the pick there. Chef Giuseppe, though, does have to clutch this one up. It's a 1v1 situation here. Smiley, though, knows exactly where Smiley is going to be playing. Let's see what he can get done on the Not omen here. The resurrect will come through for Chef Giuseppe. That's a very, very good play there. He's just going to jump onto side blindly. Trigger discipline from Smiley does spot out the other member. We'll look for the 1v1, a great headshot there. On to Crimson to clutch that 1v2 up and give St. Clair a 6-0 lead. Absolutely, yet another clutch from Smiley doing a great job on that omen. Playing so sneaky and having great trigger discipline as you said. And now one of the team's leaders here into this map. And we just keep seeing the same buys over and over again. Seth gonna pick up that judge once more. And gonna take it for another spin here, and they are gonna do a five-man push onto A here, and it looks like Ontario Tech almost being able to read it, gonna have three people ready for them here. I'm sure we're gonna see a couple blinds come out, and as we get into this round, we're gonna take a look here. Seth gonna peek it, oh, get concussed. This guy knows he got it, but not quite gonna capitalize on that stun. But they're able to slow them down for a little bit. Caillou's able to, uh, able to get two picks onto 
the Sage and the Raze. And when your Sage is entering like this, Caillou is able to find the third. Does he see the sky? He does. He's going to get the fourth. And he's looking for the ace. The Omen is up mid. And surely he's going to be sprinting his way over there, trying to find him. You can see the rest of the Saints right next to him, just trying to find out some information. But the Omen isn't going to give him the chance. He's going to push through here. He will get spot out. And Smiley does take that one down. That is a flawless for St. Clair College of the back of Caillou's 4K on the Sage. I have never seen a Sage enter and frag out like that quite before, but Caillou just does it so effortlessly on any agent, any type of any type of agent, initiator, duelist, uh, sentry, just doesn't matter. Caillou is there and that four piece says it all. Very, very great play here from St. Clair. Taking a 7-0 lead. We saw this last map. Hopefully they don't buy an outlaw this game so they can close this one out. No weapons for the side of Ontario Tech Purple, so this should be another very, very easy round for the side of St. Clair. See how 7 types do this one. Inkstein is able to find a pick mid onto Kaelin GG. We're going to see Giza finding a pick as well. Crimson, though, with the Stinger able to find two onto Inkstein. And Giza on this round just flip on its head. The sight is all in this favor of the Saints as they take out the Rays. Looking for the knife there, but Smiley is able to find the headshot with the Vandal. The spike should be going down any second now. Smiley is able to get that one down. And both members of Ontario Tech Purple up mid, maybe looking for a bit of a flank. Do the side of St. Clair College have any idea that they're here? I'm not too sure. No, it does not appear so. They are going to check it here. Smiley going to TP one in and get in that smoke and finds both of them very, very quickly. And Seth just there in case things went a little bit south there for Smiley, but it does not matter. Saints now take the 8-0 lead in this first half and look to finish this one out in 13-0 fashion. Great, great map so far from St. Clair. Just like last map, mm -hmm. looking very, very strong in the attack with the dual uh, double duelist setup. Yes, Seth and Inkstink might be towards the bottom of the leaderboard, and Smiley Caillou and Giza just kind of doing a lot, to mm -hmm. be fair. But uh, you need your entry agents to give you entry picks, and that's what they have been doing. They've been making a lot of space as Smiley getting another one on that omen and St. Clair. Look how quickly they're able to make their way into the spawn. Seth mm -hmm. somehow is already in the enemy team spawn. They're going to look to kill the raise. Seth will peek around this corner maybe with the pistol. We'll be able to take that raise out, but the omen able makes a little bit too much noise. This raise should be able to be taken down by Caillou and there she goes. 4v3 for side of St. Clair as they've fully flipped the map. I don't know if they have any idea that the Sage and Omen are back there. Smiley's looking for the pick here on to Caitlyn GG and is able to find there's going to be all up to Sriracha Beans here on this Omen and Giuseppe on the stage to do all the work but Seth decides to just jump in there with the shorty and Smiley's going to take down the third of the round for himself. 9-0 lead for St. Clair as they continue their dominance. Absolutely just an absolute cleanup crew here from Smiley and Seth being able to flank so perfectly in that Omen blind coming from mid and able to blind them for enough time for Smiley to get up with that shorty and find that first pick. It's just executed so, so well here. It looks like Smiley might be looking to make a little bit of noise on A as he's got all five of the enemy team waiting for him there. And if Saints move in as quickly as they have, they will have this B site all to themselves without any contestion. Without a doubt, let's see what work Smiley can get done. Look at him running away from the whole team. He's going to choose to keep this corner. He's going to be able to find some shots. Does find one, two, three on the spray. <laughs> Does get the heal from his stage. Some missed shots there from Ontario Tech Purple. He's going to TP right into them. He's able to find... No, that was the ace there. He does get resurrected. Oh, but Instinct and Caillou are going to clean that one up. A very, very, very interesting round there from both teams. But St. Clair College getting the kind of flawless considering they got the resurrection and taking a 10-0 lead. Absolutely. Just interesting play from both sides here. Ontario Tech... The five-man push not able to do anything to Smiley as he's able to just spray three of them down very, very quickly and even be able to get a TP in behind them almost super effectively. But with two rounds left in the half, they look to flip this to match point going on to the defensive side. And still lots of ults on the you board to play, for Ontario Tech. Play. It should be time for one of them to use it soon. Yeah, Giza is literally just going to walk up mid without any worries. We'll get hit by that. Alarm bot, but does he really care? Not really. Giza's gonna look for the raise, looking 
so the wrong good. way. Sage is gonna find Giza there, but Sinclair just kind of spawn trapping the enemy team. Smiley and Instinct finding a couple there. The plant should go down on A in just a second, and it's a 2v4 now. Crimson is gonna look for the shots here. And with Kaelin, they're able to find Instinct, but they're defending B sites when the plant's going down on A. I don't know if that's the most optimal play there is. Smiley gonna look for the shots to smoke on this. Uh, two more clips left. Can be spraying too much here. Smiley has to be careful around that corner as well. It's gonna take a lot of space up and on Teo Tech Purple are just kind of surrendering. They're not really going anywhere. They're near the fuse, but they're getting pushed. And look, with Seth and Smiley on that push, they're gonna get traded out by Smiley yet again, finding three kills on that omen. Saints two rounds away from taking this map. Absolutely, Last Caillou having a grand old time on A site by himself post plant, probably having a little party. Just waiting for that cleanup crew to roll through and finish off those last two. And now on this last ma or round of the half, St. Clair College only one away from map point. Yeah, they should be able to take this one as well. They do have the weapons. You can see the weapon bias for Ontario Tech. Uh, kind of interesting. Not really the best they could afford. The best mm -hmm. they could afford for sure, but not really the best. For setup wise, let's see how this round goes. Sinclair gonna walk up mid yet again. It's been completely uncontested the entire half. It's gonna be a TP into the backline from the only one. Tears of Purple. They know he's in that smoke. Kaelin does find one with the, with the bucket. There's two trades coming down. 3 3 situation. Seth and Instinct trying to push through. They do pick up the spike. Chuck Gasepe does find the Instinct there. Let's see if Seth can find anything with the judge. Does find one. Does he know there's one right above him? He's not gonna be able to peek that one out, but will make it out alive. And it's a 2v2 situation now. Smiley. And Seth getting that plant down. I think they know the omens behind, but they have to be very, very careful. Smiley's looking at it through here, and Seth is going to be able to make it out there alive and going to be down in hell. 2v2 situation. It's, oh, it's a 3v2 now as Chev Kasepe gets yet another res onto Crimson there. As Smiley going to have to go massive on this omen. Will he be able to find one? No, there's two of them pushing him. Seth does find one on his own. He's going to. Realize there's a Killjoy ultimate coming down. I think he's gonna choose to push here, or is he gonna choose to maybe stay alive? But then all he has is really a sheriff. He's gonna choose to just back up here. And as soon as the defuse goes down, he's gonna look for the headshot onto that uh, defender. Can he find it there? Onto the Killjoy. He has to find it. No, he won't be able to fight as Crimson finds him. And that's gonna be the first round going over to Ontario Tech Purple. A little bit of deja vu here. 11 to 1 going into the Switching second sides. half. And now, as they switch sides here, it's gonna be very interesting to see. St. Clair College will just click, quickly close this one out in the first two pistol rounds, or if they might have a little bit more fun, hopefully uh, not by an outlaw on this <laughs> half uh, going into the defensive side, but they do have a little bit of an advantage here as they have been utilizing that mid so, so well to their advantage, and on defense it can be even more utility for them as well if they do it right. Yeah, Ontario Tech are going to look for a five-man push here onto the... B site, but St. Clair have a couple members of their own ready to peek this one. I think they have an idea that Ontario like Tech might be wanting already. to push through here, but they, Ontario Tech does have the numbers advantage if they choose to go really, really quickly. They could find some nice shots. There's the Sage wall coming out from. I'm not too sure. I think that was from Caillou, right? That, uh, uh, that was, yes, that was from Caillou. And uh, the push kind of just gets stopped like that, but Kaelin is able to. Find a pick onto Smiley in the mid. It's going to be Instinct finding one. He's going to be able to get out alive as well. Great play from the, the, him there. Seth finds a pick. Find, Giza finds one as well as Crimson will get taken down as well. And that is going to be the whole team just getting wiped. St. Clair College pinching from two angles, just able to lock Ontario Tech Purple Match in point. that tiny space. And they are on map point. Let's see what they can get done here. Absolutely, and we are going to see a marshal come out. Not an outlaw, a marshal <laughs> from the side of Ontario Tech University. So they will be looking to have a little bit more of a long-range engagement up here at mid, using it for their own, whereas everyone else can opt for the Spectre Half Shield. This is do or die now. you got to buy whatever you can, and we can see that Caillou and Seth are going to be picking up the judges. The rest of the team going to have some Vandals and Spectres, so it looks like a very quick, decisive round. Caitlyn going to whiff a couple shots here onto Giza, and he's ready with that Vandal just pre-firing that corner. Flash going to come out, be able to get a couple of them. He's missing a couple shots, so Smiley's able to push up and find one before being taken out by the Rays there. Seth able to find one on a Crimson. Instinct doing a great job, and that is the map. St. Clair College win. closes it out 13-1. 1-1 now in the match overall, and we're going to be going to match point. 
Yeah, it's gonna be map three, I believe, coming up after this, and it's gonna be Saint Clair on attack yet again. Mm -hmm. But let's look at how that game went. A bit more one-sided than the first one. All five members ab of the Saints above all five members from Ontario Tech Purple in a very, very dominant map too. And that one was quite a performance from Smiley. Absolutely, I had to take a double double look there just to make sure. It looked like it might have been a different scoreboard, <laughs> but no, y they did in fact get. At, uh, better combat scores than the other team altogether, and not a single one of the Saints dropping more than 10 deaths throughout the whole map. Just absolutely incredible. I don't even know what else to say. It's just some of the best playing I think I've ever seen St. Clair College do. Yeah, I think they were a bit unhappy with the fact that they uh, accidentally gave away yep. the first map, so now they're going full, 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 100%. Mm -hmm. They take that game, too, without any really big obstacles 13-1 nope. a very very easy one for them so and now this series is tied up 1-1 one, one. we're going to be going to a map 3 we're going to throw it to a very very quick break actually and we're going to go to map 3 right after this
Welcome back everybody to the third and final game of this matchup. We have Ontario Tech Purple taking on St. Clair College and it's an exciting draft to say the least. Jordan walked us through it. Well, I don't even know what to say. We got St. Clair College. They went from three duelists to two duelists and now we are jumping up an extra one and going to four duelists with the addition of Neon and Instinct gonna hop on that jet now and give up the Reina to Giza. And I'm sure Seph on that raise probably gonna bring that same judge destruction. But looking at Ontario Tech, we got a pretty standard setup. Omen, Sky, Deadlock, Killjoy, and Raze. So they are gonna be pretty well equipped for the defensive side here. And on a map like Lotus, um, that could give them the advantage. But seeing Raze, Jet, and Neon, I can only imagine that these are gonna be St. Clair College getting onto site within the first five seconds of each round. Absolutely, especially the way this first two maps have went. I mean, Saints just got onto any bomb site anytime they wanted to. And now with four duelists, they're just going to get in there. Smiley, the top fragger, deciding to stay on the omen. Mm -hmm. uh, deciding to slow down a little bit maybe, but he can always TP into the back when he has his ultimate. So it's going to be fun to watch mm -hmm. here in this third and final map between Ontario Tech Purple and St. Clair College. Absolutely. Getting into these first rounds, Ontario Tech probably took that nice little break to really talk about what they're going to do to stop or at least slow down St. Clair College from getting onto these sites so quickly because as we can see, and yeah, here we go again, another 5v5 set up here as Saints are going to be running straight towards this A site, but they are going to have to battle those Sky Flashes, which can be very deadly if Reyna is not ready to counter. And here we go, let the madness begin. The dogs are unleashed, all the blinds are coming out, oh every bit of utility. Crimson's going to start off the Havoc, Sriracha Bean's finding two, Smiley able to trade and get a second one there. It's getting three before being taken out, now it's a 1v2. Caillou on that Neon with the shorty, going to just be running around. Spike is left in a main, and if they're not careful, Caillou might have a chance to sneak up on them. Yeah, they have to be careful, but it's going to be so, so hard. He only has 37 HP and a shorty to his name, but a very good start for Ontario Tech Purple. Looking like they should be able to take this first round down. Let's see what Caillou can do. They do give him a lot of space, and if he's able to pick up the pistol here, could be dangerous. The Killjoy turret is going to do very, very crucial hit points to him. He's trying to pick up a ghost around him. He does find a friend. He does have to take out that turret, and he will. Let's see go, go, Caillou can maybe... Oh, very, very important shots here. Is going for the fake here. Does find the stun no, no. as well. Will he go around the corner? He will. But Crimson finding his third kill of that round. And Ontario Tech Purple, for the first time in this series, have a lead on the map. Absolutely. Getting that first round is crucial. And they could buy up here. They are going to opt to get some Spectre full shield going into this round. And it could help them. Those The util dump that they have is very, very incredible. Especially Deadlock with that molly that she has that just perfectly stuns all opponents in her path and sky with the flashes as well is just going to be a tough wall to crack here but we can see that saints are going to split it up a little bit gonna go for b with the spike here Killjoy turret's gonna spot them out so they do know that there is someone on b but that might give he's a and i believe that is instinct um, a chance to get around with the Jet and Reina, but Kaylin gonna start it off, finding the pick on to Giza there. Caillou waiting with the buck. He's gonna miss the first shot, miss the second shot, and he's gonna have to run back just a little bit. Three HP, he's not gonna be able to take very much. Seth gonna be able to find one onto the deadlock there, and now it's 4v4 with the spike down. Caillou, all he needs is one HP. Smiley's able to find the pick, but two picks coming back, and Seth and Inkstein finding a couple shots into the room. They're able to spot out the last. Remember, it is the Killjoy. Raze is on 1 HP. Instinct's also on 46 HP. They have to be very, very careful. 20 Battle HP going standing. into the Molly to try and peek that. It's all up to Seth. He knows exactly where he is. That's a great shot. 3k with the Bucky for Seth in this round. Able to give the round back for St. Clair College. That one got very, very quick close. Absolutely here. And now St. Clair College able to full buy up. And what do you know? We're going to see a judge come out here from Caillou this time, though. And that could be very deadly, especially in Neon, how quickly she's able to run up and just get some kills here. And we are going to see almost a complete A push here. It looks like it might end up that way unless Caillou does decide to go elsewhere. But nope, we are going to see the five stack on A from both teams yet again. 
Let the madness begin as all the util comes out. The flies, the pain shells, the everything. But St. Clair College able to get some more room this time. Yeah, Kyo's going to throw out those stuns. With the charge, he's going to go into the entire enemy team. He's only able to find one, but Giza able to find two. They're all stuck in this corner. Giza, oh my goodness. With one clip, I believe, gets four kills. And in a matter of maybe 10 seconds, St. Clair College give themselves a 2-1 lead in this, in this map. Absolutely looking to not let another round slip by here. They have given up their... One loss of the game here, and one loss of the half, should I even say. Going into this fourth round, it's going to be tough for Ontario Tech to gain back some of that momentum that they had, especially after suffering that kind of corner trap that they got put in. Yeah, and Sinclair just looking so, so fast with these four duelists. They're going to go for an A push again, but now they're not going to get the resistance that they have the last two times from Ontario Tech. Caillou just sprinting through the enemy team, is able to find those stuns there, is able to push through with that Ares, going very, very aggressive, just putting down some spray fire there. He's carrying fine things and finds another one. Seth gets taken down as well. It's a very good start for the side of Ontario Tech Purple. Now it's a 2v2 situation. Spike is going down. Caillou is going to have the 1v1 one here. And Caillou is finally able to find the headshot there. 2v1 situation is going to be just the raise on the flank here. Let's see if St. Clair can close this one out. The raise looks for the peak there. Caillou missing a couple shots there, but is able to stay alive. Just running around there, kind of being a distraction. As Ray's going to go up to the high ground. Smiley is going to go for this one. One is gonna find one shot there. That's not a headshot though. Spine looking for another one. Gonna wait for the race to walk up and is able to find the third kill there. Three one lead for St. Clair looking very, very strong Come on the here. attack yet again. Very, very good push. Way to get onto site quickly. And they had zero resistance from the other team. But Careful. now Ontario Tech probably not gonna want to make the same mistake. They may five stack up on A here. But Killjoy is gonna go for a setup elsewhere as some of the St. Clair College can be a little bit sneaky sometimes and like to get around so it's always good to have those killjoy setups on different sites that are still close enough where they're activated but you know far enough where they cover more of the map i think we might see smiley tp all the way into the enemy spawn here it's going to be a beat the side of ontario tech and look they don't have the spike so they're kind of just careful here pushing a without a spike and ontario tech spot out the spike the whole team is kind of stacked on it. Is that a deadlock ultimate? Uh, that is just the... Just one of his ability, yep. their abilities. It's uh, just a deadlock ability. I thought that was the ultimate. Mm -hmm. The new agent, uh, as we're going to see the Reina solo yeah. come back towards <laughs> this Giza, probably realizes that, guys, uh, there's a lot of people here. I can see this even to find one. We'll make it out alive before getting hit by the boom bot, but in the spawn now, Kasepi is able to find one. Is able to find one. Yeah. Giza find yet another one. Gets a second kill for now. Finds the third. Looking for the fourth, but Inkstein is finally taking both of those away, but St. Clair taking a 4-1 lead. Very interesting round there. Ontario Tech Purple looking for the battle up mid, but St. Clair College just kind of went up A and took a lot of space. They had so much advantage there, especially having Spike left in spawn by St. Clair College, and it looks like they might be opting to do it again. A little bit of a confusion tactic as they were completely able to flip sides with Ontario Tech there and just get a sense of what it must be like to be on the defensive side there and they came out swinging as they Giza finds a couple great picks to push through that deadlock barrier. So we're gonna see the Neon go up A, probably gonna go up around the whole map, uh, or up C I apologize, mm -hmm. gonna go around the whole map onto A. They're up B and uh, as well, it's just the members on A that are getting some resistance. He's going to be able to find one on that judge. What a nice shot from there. He's going to look for the second. Won't find it there. Caillou with that ultimate is going to find a pick. Kaelin does take out Giza, but Caillou with his ultimate on the front is going to do so much damage. He's able to find one. No, he's not actually. Ooh. Won't find that kill. It's now it's a 2v1 for the side of St. Clair, but Seth is able to help them out. Like Kaelin finding three kills on that sky, but just not enough for Ontario Tech Purple. St. Clair 5-1 lead looking to take this map in a dominant fashion. Absolutely, they gave them the first round just to get warmed up, get into the swing of things. Lotus, definitely a map that Saints have always had to work on, and it seems like over the break they took that opportunity to do so. But now, looking at the side of OTSU Purple, we do see that they almost have all ultimates online. Your mom one point away from having the showstopper, and it could be a good round for them to take if they do well here and once again we're going to see a big stack come up from the side of OTSU on this E site. Oh, it's not going to matter. Good. Instinct is going to kick things off here. Here comes the showstopper from the side of Seth. Looking for it. Not going to see anyone in trees. Oh, going to get back. it off. 
gets the trade on to Caitlyn. Incredible. And now it's 3v2 for St. Clair College. 3v1, I should spike correct myself. And 3v0 <laughs> after the spike gets put down. And now it's 6-1 for St. Clair College. They're playing with such immense pace. Just absolutely running through Ontario Tech Purple. And mm -hmm. Ontario Tech Purple just don't know what to do. I wouldn't know what to do either if I had four duelists running at my bomb site. I would try to fend myself off. But... They're trying, I can guarantee that. It's St. Clair just going up A every single time. At least two members, and then you see a couple on the flank. You see that Neon kind of just ending up behind the enemies randomly. But it's looking like it's going to be a four-man push onto A. One person going up mid. That's going to be Seth on that raise. Let's see how this round starts off. Smiley's going to TP over. And they're going to have a little bit of space to work with. Smiley finds a pick onto one. So Rasha Beans finds Sayu there. It's going to be the Smiley pushing through. Finding yet another one. Crimson's gonna find a pick as well. Instinct takes down Chef Giuseppe there. As Giza takes down Kaylin. It's a 3v1 now for Crimson. They know exactly where he is. The Hildroy is gonna be able to find one. It's a 2v1 now for the side of the Saints. As Giza finds a nice little headshot there. 7 1 lead for St. Clair. And these rounds are going by so, so fast. Now, Giza almost suffered an early death there as he was caught in the deadlock ult and being struck along, but the rest of his team able to shoot him out and save his life so he could come back and save theirs in the end. And now, up 7 1, OTSU gonna have to take a save round here as they buy very, very light, looking to buy up in the next round. And St. Clair College economy just booming. They don't even know what to do with all that cash that they have in hand. Might see the Odin setup come out from them yet again, maybe. <laughs> I'm not too sure if they're going to be looking for that one this game, but we're going to see the... I want to see the raise one time, just ult that oh, A yeah. side and maybe find a couple picks. I think that's a great idea, but it's going to be, as I was saying here, onto A side without any resistance. Yet again, Caillou just, look how much space he's making here. There's the raise ultimate. Misses Caillou, finds a little bit of damage, but that's a great shot there from Caillou. Able to find the opening pick. Seth on the flank here is watching as Sriracha Beans does find one. There's going to be the Sky Ultimate coming out. Now they know they can't push through there. As it's going to be Sriracha Beans looking for one more. Instinct though, will be alive. There's Seth fighting a couple as well. 8-1 lead for St. Clair, and they're taking these rounds without any hesitation. Absolutely. Three rounds left in the half, and they are looking to finish it off 11-1 to one once again. Um, and then hopefully find a very quick and easy two rounds in the second half to finish this one off. And just taking a look at this leaderboard is absolutely incredible. Smiley and Giza leading things off with 11 kills apiece and Seth and Instinct not too far behind with eight apiece. And Caillou just having a little fun on the neon down there, five, eight, and six, still doing a great job, still doing what has to be done for the team. Without a doubt, it's gonna be another eight push from the Saints. Ontario Tech Purple for run. some reason decided to four stack the C side, even though St. Clair I think they made it pretty obvious. They're going towards that A side every single round. And it's a five man flank coming out from Ontario. Tech Purple Giza is going to plant that one down. And the side of Saints probably wondering where's the rest of the team? Seth finds one. It's going to look to find the second. Does he find it? Can he find another one here? Oh, he'll look for the third. But Kaylin finding some nice shots there. Does he take him out? Kai goes down as well. Smiling Giza finds the trades there. And it's now 3v1 for Crimson. They're pushing him with everything they have. Smiley does find the headshot through the smoke. That's going to the ninth round for St. Clair and they're four away from taking this match. Absolutely, just an absolute slaughter on the side of the Saints. Doing an incredible job. They were able to take A site easily without any resistance there. So OTSU was going to try a five man flank, but it was quickly, quickly shut down by Seth there on the Rays, who decided to take a look back and see what was going on, just to make sure. But now, looking at everything, we see the Reina ult online for Giza and ready to use it. It's such a great ult to have when you are as strong of a duelist as Giza is, especially on that arena. Absolutely, they're gonna go, go over to this A site. This Ray's gonna take a couple of shots there. Instinct taking so much damage from that Kildra, but just walking through and Caillou somehow in the spawn already able to find three Instinct. Finding one as well is all up to the Killjoy all the way on A site. Can't she do anything? Does get taken down as well. And it's a 10 1 lead for St. Clair. It's just actually running through the opposition. I don't think Ontario Tech Purple have any idea on what to do. And uh, I mean, if I could help them, 
I don't know if I could either say Fair Call is <laughs> no. just firing on all cylinders and playing with such aggression. You need to do so much to keep up with that aggression and yeah. Ontario Tech Purple just can't do it today. Absolutely, I think the only play they might have left in the book is just to grab a bunch of judges, find a corner and sit, wait and pray as St. Clair College has shown that they love just flying into sight. So if they can use their utility as well as they did in that first round, it could go well. We are going to see the showstopper come out from Seth. He's hunting as it is a pretty big split push here from St. Clair College. He's going to use the showstopper to open the door up, get himself onto A site. Spike still back in A main. Giza and Sriracha Beans finding a pick each in his 4 4 situation. 3v4 situation now for the Saints as Inkstein goes down. Giza though, able to do so much here. He's even finds Sriracha Smiley, does one find one as well. Remaining. Finds a second. It's all up to Kaelin here. They know exactly where this sky is. Kaelin will find a pick onto the Reina there, but the raise is on 1 HP for the side of St. Clair, so mm -hmm. could maybe be around yourself faking that plant down, trying to find those shots. Plant won't go down just yet, but they're looking for the kill here. Seth finds it. They're on to kill him with a great swing there. And it's going to be saying clear two rounds away from victory as the half comes to an end. Two HP and a dream just teasing that sky there, waiting for him to pop his head out. And sure enough, Seth, with incredible accuracy, able to one tap that sky out of existence and looking at the second half now on defense. Looks like it's going to be a big C push here from the side of Ontario Tech, which would be very interesting as the Saints have almost completely ignored that C side as a whole, except for the odd time Caillou does a full lap around the map. I think we're going to see the same thing from the Saints. They're going to sprint up A and just get into the spawn of Ontario Tech Purple. Yes, Ontario Tech, if they go very, very fast, could make their way onto C, get that plant down and try and play defense, but we saw how defense worked for them last round. They're losing 11-1. Wasn't the best performance they've ever put on. Let's see what... We, it's going to happen in this round. Ontario Tech Purple going to decide to walk while St. Clair are just sprinting their way mm -hmm. across the map. Look, they're all going through B. They know, they know that they're going to C. Look how quickly they're moving across the map. Those, those duels, they're able to even put out a smoke before any fights happen. But Shep Kasepe able to find a couple of picks. He's going to find a trade there. He's going to have to go massive on the flank here on the Reina. Won't be able to find any many more picks as this raise. Smiley's going to look too deep as well. Shep Kasepe finding his third, but Giza also finding his third. Smiley helping him out with one more. It's going to be a 1v1 now. Sriracha able to find that pick, but Giza with his fourth kill on the Reina puts St. Clair in match point. What a great round from him individually there. Absolutely, and now St. Clair College looking to close it out, finish this one 13-1 like they did the last round. I think the only thing that's stopping them now is if Caillou buys an outlaw. <laughs> it's the only thing that's going to slow them down, and we can see now Seth and Instinct buying a judge each, so you can only imagine that they are going to fly straight at this A main area and just get a couple clean picks as Ontario Tech looks like they are going to five man possibly around B here it looks like they're going to set up for but now they've got to face Caillou and uh, Smiley coming up the mid very quickly and sure enough here we go some shotguns and corners that's what's going to work for them. Yeah Caillou's able to find one, Inks is able to find two and then they're just running through the enemy team just Caitlyn GG left with the Sheriff to look for a pick here won't be able to find it and that is Going to Defenders be the game. St. Clair College win the third map 13 1 to take the series 2 1. A very, very dominant fashion for, uh, from them in all three maps, but taking the series 2 1 in the end, and they will be moving on. Absolutely. And you can see they took that um, forced forfeit very, very personal as they do even better in the following two maps than they did on that first one, letting up only one round each game game and as we take a look at the leaderboard we could see why smiley and giza just going off 16 and 19 kills respectively and the rest of the team following suit doing a great job with the util all around and caitlin gg definitely stepping it up this time for otsu getting in the mix there but it just wasn't quite enough as st Clair college just dominated i just dominated i think is the best word to put there they just put all their skills on display. They're pulling out the four duelist comp and just mm -hmm. showing them, show, showing everyone that they can do this with ease. So congratulations to our Saints and they will be moving on. But that's not gonna be it for us today. We have uh, one more game coming up at 7 p.m. and it's gonna be our academy team taking on Humber, I believe. So mm -hmm. uh, anything you expect to see in that matchup maybe? Well, you know, following the varsity team, I bet they wanna try and you know show their dominance as well in this competition and s show the rest of Ontario what they can, or er, show Humber College what they can do um, in Valorant. But 
definitely probably going to play it a little more safe than the Varsity did. Yeah, I don't think we'll be seeing the four duelists no, no. coming out from our Academy team. Do you think maybe we'll see a deadlock in that series? It could be very useful. It really depends on the map picks, um, which we will be finding out later. But deadlock, definitely a useful agent and definitely something, something to consider when you think about team comps. Without a doubt. And, you know, our Saints just put on... Uh, Kind of a masterpiece for us, but they did lose the first map yeah. because they bought that outlaw. They, they won that one 12-3, I believe, or 13-3, but yep. technically it's a loss, so they lost the map. Then the next two maps, they were able to win 13-1, 13-1, so mm -hmm. absolutely great performance from them. And with all that being said, we're going to throw it to a bit of a longer break because our game is at 7 p.m., but come back here at 7 p.m. We'll be back on the cast, and we'll be watching our academy team take on Humber. Don't go anywhere. 